What do you need? It's a friend? fine day with you around. Oh, not much. Just the usual hustle and bustle. Though, there was a rather interesting mercenary who stopped by my stall a while back. Ash, her name was. Striking woman with hair as white as snow. Said she was headed to solitude to find work. If you're headed that way, tell her I said hello. She did me a big favor once. Helped me retrieve some stolen goods from a band of nasty bandits. Tough as nails, that one. You'd be lucky to have her on your side. Farewell. The name's Ash. If it's mercenary work you need, that'll be 200 gold. Then that's business. Any questions before we venture out? Glad you asked. I deal mostly with two-handed weapons, if you couldn't already tell by my massive sword here. Might be surprising for a woman of my size, but I can wield these beasts rather well. Because I'm not hungry, and it's none of your business. Oh, this thing. Not exactly the most practical looking, is it? I'm a mercenary, looking for work around here. Let's keep it at that. While I am skillful in combat, I haven't been a mercenary for long. I might not stay one for long either. Personal reasons, but I'm training for something. The skin enchantments help keep me durable in battle. Isolda? Oh yes. I helped her retrieve some stolen goods a while back. Simple enough. It's good to know she remembers me. Agreed. But there's a reason I wear these. Let's just say they're a lot tougher than they look. You might be surprised. Fine. What job do you want me to do? Is this more of a general escort or a dungeon exploration? You can definitely hold yourself in a fight. I appreciate working with people who have combat experience. There are ways to determine someone's combat experience just by looking at them. A mentor taught me. Here, I'll let you borrow some skill books. It'll make my job easier. And it's nice to be working with you. I'd rather fight for my life than live it. Farewell. Feel free to make requests. I suppose thanks are in order. Well, I do suppose thanks are in order. I was quite the admirer. What's my strategy? I specialize with... T I'm fair with other combat arts as well, like archery and one-handed weapons. However, I don't know much about spellcasting right now. Still working on that. And if I don't have a weapon on me, I can use my fists. I've been told that they punch like steel, quite literally. As soon as I was born, if you could put it that way. Swinging a sword just came naturally for me. I was swinging ever since I set foot out of the womb. Even though I was a prodigy, no one is born a master swordsman. Took a lot of practice to get where I am today. My father taught me the basics. But he passed away not long after I was born, so since then I've mostly been self-taught. I needed to survive, and I didn't have anyone I could trust at the time. My father. He was all I ever knew. Never knew her. It was always just my father. He was killed by assassins. I've made it a point to hunt them down. That's kind of why I'm taking these mercenary jobs here and there. I need to be sure I can actually kill them. I was powerless to do anything when it actually happened. That won't be the case anymore. Not much to tell. I didn't get to know him for very long. I know it sounds sad. I didn't even know the only parent I had that well. 
but the days I did spend with him, they were memories of pure light. He was so kind, caring. I used to kind of be a buffoon when I was born. It was very embarrassing. But he helped me through it, and for the limited time he could, showed me the ropes of what it meant to live. That was how he put it. My purpose in life was just to live and experience things. Very vague when you think about it. He never got to explaining it. Before he could, well, he kicked the bucket. Would you know what he meant? Yeah, I'd like the sound of that. Not currently. They know how to cover their tracks. I'll let you know if I find anything. Glad we're on the same page. What's our next plan of action? Affirmative. Do you believe on this talk of dragons? Can the ancient ones truly hmm? have returned? Oh, yes, I am. But you actually. But in every part of yes, sky, you. We've been traveling together for a while now. Why wouldn't I mention you to my friend? A friend. His name's Kanas. He knows me better than anyone else. Our relationship has been a bit strained of late, but he's all I have. Outside of you, of course. As you wish. Alas, I find myself less adept with a quill than with a blade. Perhaps a skill I should cultivate. Do you need something? An isolated mountain region in High Rock. I'm not exactly a local here in Skyrim. You could probably already tell that from my Breton appearance. I ended up here in Skyrim as it seems like it's the best place for mercenary work. And I don't think I'm wrong, seeing as we've been working together. No, there's no need. There'd just be even more pain and sorrow. Yes? What did you need? Wares and weapons, all for sale at fair prices. Vigilance is key in the path to. Vi yes, what is it? It's called a lunatia. I don't believe there's a lot of those in Skyrim. It's very special to me. This tear is the only memento I have of my father. No, it's honestly all right. I've come to terms with what's happened. I'm not sure. My considerable intelligence usually lets me keep track of things like this, but... I guess I was just existing, for lack of a better term, for a good deal of time after my father's death. For years, I'd say. For a while, I felt like I no longer had a purpose. He gave me motivation, but my purpose went away with him after he passed. Now I've resolved to have a new purpose, avenging his death. At least it's getting me out of the hay bed every morning. I still rather not talk about it, if that's all right. You already know all the. It's the flower that my father used to grow. I'm not sure where he got the seeds from, because they can't be found anywhere else in Tamriel. I just know that he told me that, from where they're from, they're symbols of hope and renewal. That they represent the possibility of a better future, even in the midst of despair. And that's probably just horsewash. Arya was buried six feet under, along with all the ideals he had. 
All right. Oh, what is it? All for sale at If the river is not frozen to ice, perhaps. All right then.